Hey, how's it going guys, and welcome back to another Week 3 Recap. And we kicked off the week with our final sailing dev blog, answering just about every question you can throw at us. This thing is jam-packed with info on the potential new skill, so be sure to give it a read if you haven't already via the link below. And speaking of sailing, it's officially being polled. That's right, players will have until next Wednesday to get their votes in, so be sure to have your say on whether you'd like to see sailing as a skill in old school or not. Following that, we have this week's updates, beginning with the Slayer Assignment rework. As we've reworked the Slayer Assignment tables to remove bad tasks, unnecessary requirements, and we've also altered the weighting of certain assignments. In addition, we've increased the NPC spawns for several popular monsters, including Blue Dragons, Red Dragons, and the new Baby Green Dragons. Up next, you now have the ability to sell 50 items to a shop at a time. And we've also added a shortcut to the Kazari jungle that requires 79 agility. And our last quality of update this week, you can now decide whether you'd like to teleport into your player-owned house or just outside of it. Now that's handy. So let's move on to this week's Q&A, which we kicked off announcing a quick fix we made just before the live stream. Yes, so this went into the game about um, 10 minutes ago or thereabouts. It's a change to combat for people who have not been interacting with their clients for a period of time. It's quite simply interrupts the process where you would keep attacking an NPC repeatedly or a player repeatedly. Yeah, so effectively, um, Nightmare Zone, splashing. Bye. And we also discussed the Max Cape, item lending, and of course, sailing. And lastly, we have this week's Player Spotlight feature, beginning with a fantastic Cerberus guide from Superhero. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my Cerberus Boss Task Slayer Guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to kill the new Slayer Boss, Cerberus. Up next, we have this rather relevant drawing of Mod Ash from Oblivionite. And lastly, we have some incredible pixel artwork from Mr. x -Man. So that about sums up this week in Old School RuneScape. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the game, and aside from that, we'll thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next week.